Da 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 ninja man. Hey, the moon. Oop, I bumped my mouse when I went to hit the... Woo, sorry about that. Um, I wanted to take a picture of the moon, and apparently I bumped my mouse in the process, uh, which, needless to say, controlled the camera to do awful, terrible, horrible, disorienting things. I apologize. That move is ridiculous. Like, absolutely ridiculous. I suspect they can drop their gear. Uh, no large shard this time. They don't know what's up. The thing that I'm frustrated about is I don't know if Havel can drop his gear or not. But I can't pick up stuff if it's attached to a corpse that fell off a friggin' thousand yard cliff. I don't think it's quite a mile, for the record. How do you feel about... Man, those sons of guns are freaking nasty. Oh my goodness. That fire does so much damage too. You like, you get hit by it and you get if you're not able to get out of it, you're pushing... Ugh. Boy. I want a good way of killing those things. I don't feel like I got one. I can get to them well enough. I'm going to grab my souls and probably book it. don't care about you. They deserve every single cheap tactic used on them, in my opinion. It's like, because one of the things is I feel like I've probably accumulated enough Souls at this point on this blood stain 
to get something meaningful out of it. I guess not quite enough for a level, but... Can I run past these freaking things? They deserve every single cheap tactic used on them, in my opinion. I really don't expect the dragons to respawn. Wyverns, whatever they are. Like, these things just have to be approached with extreme and almost excessive levels of caution. Because that roll move is just that powerful. I'm going to just sit here with these on for a moment, let my FP restore. There's the sun on this side, and the moon's on the other. That can happen sometimes. That's probably enough. Now the question is, is what's up this way? Anything over here? It doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like there's anything over there either. This feels like I should be getting access to another bonfire or shortcut after the amount of oomph required to get over here. There have been a few important invisible walls. Friggin' one of them casters. Bunch of sensors and stuff. What? the heck am I looking at? Ow. 
Ow, ow, ow. That hurt. I want to get his bizarre self over here. Ah, he does indeed drop Ricard's rapier. A recurring series staple. A strikingly decorative rapier of an undead prince, spoken of in ancient stories. Although many of the tales surrounding the prince are questionable, this thrusting weapon suggests that the stories of his graceful technique were in fact true. In Ricard's lunge and press. Assume a quick stance, lunge forward, and execute a stunning chain attack. Sustain offense with strong attack. Or sustain offensive, excuse me. You again. I found an important lever, guys. It activated a cutscene. Oh, that's a big bell. That's a really big bell. What have I done? And how much do I need to flee immediately? Nothing will remain once the bell is tolled. Intriguing. To travel the path of the dragon, do not ring the great bell. Well, I rang the great bell because I didn't know what was up. Oh, here's what I was looking for. Now I wonder what I just did. Like, what are the ramifications of having rung the great bell other than I cannot walk the path of the dragon? What does it screw me out of? Is this a thousand? Or ten thousand, I mean. And yes, it was. There we go. That's the amount of decks I wanted to get to. Mm. 